uh, Ripple Labs is developing something called Codius. And I've been looking at that. And um, it, it, it's probably a few months uh, away from really being usable to a developer. Um, but uh, it theoretically seems like it may make it possible to build systems uh, that autonomously transmit money without anybody owning those systems. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, does uh, basically, I guess, Chris, do you have any idea of maybe how that might be used? And maybe does anyone else have any comments on autonomous uh, money transmitting systems in the cloud, in the ether? Sure, yeah. No, we're really excited about Codius. And, uh, you know, that's Stefan Thomas and Evan Schwartz, uh, absolutely brilliant engineers who have been spearheading that along with an increasing number of our, of our staff. Um, so a lot of it is obviously smart contracts. Smart contracts have traditionally been attached to distributed ledgers. Um, I think originally it was thought that you have distributed ledger first and then you'd have smart contracts built on top of it. We've sort of taken a different approach with Codius in, um, in making them two completely separate streams so that with Codius you can both use any programming language um, and you can use any form of ledger. So whether it be a distributed ledger, decentralized ledger, whether it be PayPal, a centralized ledger, Chase, whatever, um, we think um, those uh, smart contracts should be able to tie uh, anything of value from any counterparty or non-counterparty. So that's a, a kind of a fundamental foundation of it. But what that should do then is allow, to your point, um, the idea of autonomous agents. So a good example would be, you know, today the only kind of autonomous agent that can exist is basically uh, a virus, which is uh, usually having to do bad things to support itself. Um, originally, the idea behind viruses was that you'd have benevolent viruses. And we think with things like autonomous agents that can think, think of a program that can exist in the wild and kind of have a bank account. You know, again, uh, you know, you know, an application cannot go to Chase and open a bank account, which means it can't support itself. Um, it can't take in payments from customers. It can't hire developers to improve itself. And something like Codius would allow that to happen. So you might have a world where you have benevolent uh, agents running around that could actually be antibodies for viruses. That would be one example taking the place of antivirus um, companies. You could have uh, an autonomous agent that would be like an Uber, where you wouldn't need Uber. You'd have a direct uh, sort of connection between the customer and the driver. That driver actually could be eventually um, a self-driving car. Um, what gets really interesting there is um, you could theoretically eliminate profit margins because autonomous agents don't need to make profit. Um, so it can, these things will have a lot of, uh, in, you know, obviously this is in the future a bit, but. You know, this is, this is real now. Um, uh, you can do this all uh, very today, and you'll see a lot of new tools coming out. But that's the world where I think you could see a billion times a billion transactions a day if you're really uh, going into a world of, uh, of an Internet for value with smart uh, agents. Um, so we shouldn't be talking about technology that replaces existing payment numbers. We should be talking about a world like the Internet of Information, where you see just exponential increases in the amount of value being transmitted. It's a very interesting thing. Um, banks have been doing things called letters of credit for hundreds of years, but the technology has not been there to bring it down to what Airbnb needs or balance payment does, right? So I think Codius is part of uh, an effort that can bring it down to the micro level and can do real-time settlement based on conditional conditions that are set by hopefully human beings. Right. So, I mean, the, the, the technology that underlies uh, Codius is uh, pretty remarkable. Uh, in fact, you know, I'm, I'm very familiar with uh, cryptography, and, you know, there are very few people that know more about cryptography than, than um, uh, you know, that I run into. And Stefan really has, you know, created this, this incredible, you know, he, that, he, that he exploited some techniques that very few people know about. Uh, in creating uh, Codius, so from a uh, from a technology point of view, it's like a ten compared to you know if, if you consider ACH being a one, I mean it's like so far advanced. Um, so I mean it's it's really remarkable in terms of you know what you can do with it and the underlying technology that's built upon. It's really you know tour de force.